Hey everyone, this is Lisa Anderson, author of The Dating Manifesto. I thought I would do a quick video for you illustrating what it looks like to have a successful first date. Believe it or not, I am asked the question, how can I have a good first date, Lisa? What does it look like? What should I expect? Uh, how should this thing play out? And so I can't hold your hand, I can't be there with you on your date and tell you exactly what to do, but these are kind of my top tips to uh, get the ball rolling. The first thing is call this thing a date. Uh, you want both parties to know exactly what they're getting into. So guys, this is your opportunity to step up, take leadership in this, call it a date. Don't call it a hangout, don't call it a meetup. Uh, call it what it is, say that you wanna get to know this girl and uh, make sure that she knows what this thing is about. Uh, to that point, the next thing you wanna do is have a plan. Doesn't have to be big, doesn't have to be awesome, and it doesn't have to be expensive. You actually want to have a little bit of a shorter date uh, for your first date because you don't wanna overdo it. You want both parties to just, you know, have this be casual, have it be fun, and have an opportunity to just like, you know, get out of it if at some point it's not uh, going super well so they can look at their watch and be like, okay, this thing will end at least soon, hopefully. So, um, but guys, that said, anything that you do on this date, make sure that you pay. You have the opportunity to be a gentleman here. So if it's coffee, if it's dinner, if you're just going to a movie or doing something, um, step up and pay, you'll set yourself apart. Uh, also, you want to make sure that this uh, date is something attainable, something easy. You know, don't stage the amazing race. Don't make it some total craziness. Don't make it something too difficult, like a 10 mile hike. And then the girls like deer in the headlights. Um, but as you do it, make sure it, it uh, you have available great conversation and you want to come up with a few questions ahead of time to make that happen. So, you know, you don't have to write them on your palm and certainly don't put them on your phone or on a flip chart <laughs> or whiteboard, but uh, have a few in your head. So you know what you can ask. Don't, on the flip side of that, be a conversation hog. You know, don't interrogate the girl and, and freak her out. And girls don't do the same. We tend to overshare. Um, but at the same time, don't interrogate your date either and make them feel uncomfortable. If the date goes well, you want to end it well. So this means thanking uh, the other person for their time. It means ladies, you know, thanking him for dinner or coffee or whatever it was and uh, maybe setting some expectations for where it goes from here. So if it went well, say that it did. And uh, guys, if you want another date, say that too. Say, I'll call you, or can I call you? Um, I would love to see you again. And uh, ladies, if you enjoyed the date, please say that. Either way, be grateful and be gracious. Um, but guys, if you're gonna pursue something further, do that within the next day or so. Make it happen and uh, you know, really show her that you know, this is something I would like to continue. And so um, those are just a few of my tips. When you go home, you know, don't over debrief the thing, don't be crazy about it, but make sure that you look back on it as a great experience because that's exactly what it was.